new to CuriosityStream. Animals with bulletproof skin, impenetrable scales, and poison-tipped spines? They may look strange, but they've got a serious defensive edge. It's nature's oddballs. Plus, archaeologists in Egypt have hit the mother load, an ancient burial complex with dozens of sarcophagi. Who were they? Explore this newfound necropolis on tombs of Egypt. Watch now on CuriosityStream. Annual plans are $20, just $1.67 a month. Visit CuriosityStream.com. Do you ever get the feeling you're spending a little too much time online? Me too. In fact, I felt it so much that I started a whole podcast about it. It's called Offline. It's a new weekly interview podcast from me, John Favreau. Each week on Offline, I talk to someone from news, politics, entertainment, sports, or business about the ways our extremely online existence is shaping the way we live, work, and interact with one another. New episodes of Offline with John Favreau drop every Sunday. Listen on Odyssey or wherever you get your podcasts. I mean, this is our second to last one. I know. And I miss Matt running from here to there. I mean, that I might, in some ways, is my highway. Uh, Joey, I don't know. He's awake. I know he's awake. He uh, Janine, how are you? I am good. I am good. How are you guys? We're good. You know, you won the week again. You're a, you're a playoff performer. Seriously. See, we should have started over. We should have. You would be decisive. I mean, it would be it would be out of reach. Actually, you went yeah. five and one and two and two. You would have already God. clinched it. The, ah, the overall. You know, like in the regular season, there's like regular season champions, and then there's a Super Bowl champion. So I feel true. like there should be two. She's a wild card team that ran the table on the road. Yeah, <laughs> the Niners. Um, listen, uh, but we, you and I are out of it. I, I was zero and four. Oh. Oh, Last four. Week? Yeah, what an embarrassment. I have to go back in my trusty ledger. You picked and the Chiefs then? I picked. Well, you had to. No, I picked the Bill. I, pick, I picked Tennessee, Green Bay, Tampa Bay, and Buffalo. Ooh. Wow. Hurtful. I don't like any of you people. Um, <laughs> so I am out. Is Janine fine. is out for the overall. And Ray and Matt, it's still a ball game here. This is a big week. What did I do last because week? Because you, you both went one and three. So oh. you're, you're, you're 49 and 33 and Matt is 48 and 32. So he can still win. Oh, boy. Pick the Chiefs. Okay, so this week. Are we going to do like the Super Bowl is like worth five games or something like that? Or five? I will only that. agree to that if we're all allowed to participate. And it, like it, I can get enough points to come back and win. Oh, what do you mean? You what do you what do you guess, want? I guess what, you're like what do you want? I what? say yes. No, you know what we'll do? What? We'll do some sort of parlay. Some so, side bet. So some sort of something. I don't understand you're... parlays. We're okay. not parlaying. Just anything. ask your just ask your teenage son. <laughs> um, all right, let's talk about uh, the games, okay? Um, we have Cincinnati at Kansas City. Joe Burrow is up there, maybe. Top three of the young quarterbacks in the game, like yeah. Justin Herbert. I mean, who's another one that's that's super duper in terms of like young, younger than Mahomes and and that guy. I mean, he's awesome. He's in Kansas City with Patrick Mahomes. I, I when he walks, he waddles like a duck, like he's not athletic at all. And then you put him in the football game, and he's in a savant. Goodbye. Kansas City favored by seven. Since since Janine Lee, the boss, has been crushing yeah. it, I'm going to make you go first. Okay, so I'm going to pick Kansas City, even though I don't want to, because I don't like Patrick Mahomes, and I do like the Bengals, and there's another reason we want the Bengals to win, but we won't get into that. So, By the way, this is good, Janine. This is why Janine's done better. She's gone against her instincts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like George Costanza yeah. when he went against what he wanted to do. Yeah. Things worked out great. So, yep, so I'm picking Kansas City, but I really want the Bengals to win. So why, why do you have a reason you can share? <laughs> yeah. Let's just say someone in my house back in August did a bet that Kansas City or that Cincinnati would win the Super Bowl. Wow. And so there's money on the line. Oh, wait. We placed that bet back in August. And it was probably like 100 to 1 or something or 50 to yeah, 1. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It had to be. So I, yeah. I'm taking KC too. And I know Ray is. Yeah, I probably will. So the question is will you? I'm not. I'm taking Cincinnati. I have faith in Joe Burrow. Tyron Matthew may not play for Kansas City. Jamar Chase gonna run. He got 266 yards against God. Kansas City last time with three touchdowns. Yikes! Yeah, but he's let's go, Joey. Cool. Are you doing that just because you got to <laughs> catch him? Is that why? No, you're doing I was it? gonna take. I was oh, you gonna were. take Cincinnati okay. anyway. All right, so I'm just three KCs in a Cincinnati. San Francisco at the Rams. Rams favored by three and a half. Jimmy Garoppolo. Is people say one of the worst quarterbacks to ever make the conference title? I mean, he's not played well, but I will tell you, watching that game last weekend, that 49ers defense mm, is amazing. Stellar. 
they are tough. And the Niners are six and zero against the Rams in the last six games. That's, but that just tells me they, they what? That tells me they're going to lose. It's hard to beat people that many times in a row. Well, that's a good. Point. I think that's McVay a is a great coach, and I think Stafford. People just labeled him as a kind of like a choke artist because he was in Detroit. But I I like him. So I thought I, the Niners were good against Green Bay. I mean, I think it surprised a lot of people. What do you mean they scored an offensive touchdown though? I mean, yeah, that's true. You know, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm taking. L- I'm going to go first. I'm going to take L.A. I'm going to make the Rain Man go next. Mm. <laughs> He's still working on Wordle or no? Or what? No, no, no. I'm. <laughs> I've left that behind. No, I don't want you to. Well, okay, I'm going with the Niners. I have no choice. <gasps> what? He's stealing his thunder. I'm so excited to took the Niners. That's oh, all. You took the Rams? You taking the Rams? I'm taking the Rams. What's your logic? I'm your on the logic? Matthew God. Stafford train. And Cooper Cup should be MVP uh, of the league. Right. I've had a lot of listeners, by the way, uh, reach out to me and tell me why your theory on that is flawed. Why? What's my theory? No, um, oh, Matt. Matt's. What? What's his theory? Ten touches a game. Tops. Not enough touch- touches. It's like giving the Cy Young to a relief pitcher. He's a wide receiver. I'm just though. telling you, this is what ten people touches, tell me. Ten touches for people a wide are receiver. Afraid, is a lot. People are afraid to criticize you, so they come to me. It's like, call me up. Okay. Criticize All me. Right. All right. I'm just telling ten you. Ten touches for a wide receiver is a lot well, again. Then eight. It's just that it, that makes my that makes the point more com- convincing. What do your economists say? Uh my economists are with the meteorologists. <laughs> Eight, eight, eight to 42 inches. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Janine, what you got? So I'm picking the Rams, too, even though I don't want them to win either. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> because they beat my Bucks, and, yeah, oh, not, God. yeah. But watching the, when, when they played the Bucks last week, I said to Patrick, I'm like, they are going to win the Super Bowls. So I'm mm. picking the Rams. Well, they were the best team in, in the Super Bowl last time they played. Yeah. And they, they, they. They did not do it. So, um, so we got again uh, three go one way, one goes the other. Three for LA, and then Ray goes with the Niners. So potentially, Ray, I feel you could be here. in second place at the end of the week if you go over two. No, I. I you know what I it's am. like to lead wire to wire and then fall out of first at the end. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how that this feels? Is the story of my life. What are you talking <laughs> Please about? Please stop it. <laughs> um, will you stick around for Lightman? I'd be glad to. It was to. fun to do last week, so I think we'll do that again. Janine, you got everything. You got your, you know, your fifth of bourbon, your firewood, and your food. Oh yeah, I'm good to go. I'm good to go. All right, good. Well, be safe this weekend. We'll talk to you Monday. You too. Stay safe. Right. Bye. Janine Lee, the boss. New on Curiosity Stream. That's one small step for man. Hear the untold story of how the first mission to the moon almost ended in disaster. Without that circuit breaker, they simply couldn't launch. If Armstrong and Aldrin weren't able to come home, how do you handle that as a nation? On one hour that changed the world. And AI can think like us and act like us. But how close is it to replacing us? Find out on Becoming Human. It's all on Curiosity Stream. Annual plans are $20, just $1.67 a month. Visit CuriosityStream.com. There are all kinds of smart speakers and connected devices. No matter what device you have, Odyssey has something you'll love. Blast your favorite music on home entertainment devices like Roku, Chromecast, Sonos, and more. Just look for the Odyssey app. Want to access more stations through your car? Try out Odyssey with Waze or Apple CarPlay. Plus, listen to your favorite stations on your phone with the Odyssey app. Listen to Odyssey anytime on all your smart speakers and connected devices. Odyssey. 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 At the intersection of Wall Street, Washington, Silicon Valley, and Hollywood, news is happening all the time, and there's always more to the story. Hi, I'm Peter Hamby, host of a new daily podcast powered by Puck News called The Powers That Be. Every weekday on The Powers That Be, I'll ride alongside the always informed but equally curious journalists at Puck News for an inside look behind the stories shaping the week and our culture. Listen to The Powers That Be, a podcast from Cadence 13 Studios, available for free now on the Odyssey app or wherever you listen to your podcasts.